Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Tamer and welcome back to another episode of iTalk Tech. So in this video, I'll be doing a speed test comparing the Galaxy S7 Edge to the iPhone 6S. Now, before I do begin, make sure you guys go down below and smash that like button, as well as subscribe to this channel for more content like this, but also check out the link in the description, as it'll take you to a course where you can learn how to code websites and online games without having to have known how to code before. So, go and check it out, it's a fun course, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this speed test. So let's go ahead and jump right into this speed test. Now I just do I do want to make a disclaimer that I kept these phones basically the same way as they were right out of the box. I didn't tamper with any disabling services or disabling some type of features on the Galaxy S7. I kept it the same way you would have gotten it if it was right out of the box. And the same thing goes as well for the iPhone 6S. So let's go ahead and start with our first test, which will be the boot up test. So let's go ahead and power off both of these phones and that way we can do a fresh reboot and see which one turns on the quickest. So let's go ahead and shut down both of these devices and let's get started with our first test which is the boot up test. So both devices are currently off all the way as you can see none of them are turning on. Let's go ahead and turn these on at the same time. So ready, set, go. And we are off both the devices have started now and now they are both turning on and let's see which one can power on quick now I have a feeling the iPhone 6s is gonna be quicker to turn on than the Galaxy S7 Edge and that's because of this carrier logo right here on the Galaxy S7 Edge which does extend its time to turn on whereas the iPhone 6s doesn't need a carrier logo so I could, as you can see the iPhone 6s is already on and now the Galaxy S7 Edge just turned on so if it wasn't for that stupid carrier um, logo in the boot up, then I would have guessed that the Galaxy S7 Edge would have been um, as fast, if not faster, than the iPhone 6s. Alright, now let's go ahead and move on to our next test, which will be testing how fast the fingerprint scanner is. So let's go ahead and lock both of these devices up. And the first way we're going to test this is by just having the screen on to start with, and then placing our thumbs on it to see how fast it can unlock. So ready, set, go. So as you can see, the Galaxy S7 Edge was able to unlock it quicker than the iPhone 6s. And that's probably mainly due to that quick animation on the Galaxy S7 Edge compared to like that fade out or um, animation on the iPhone 6s. Let's go ahead and do this a couple more times just to see if that was any mistake or not. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. We're going to open up the screens. Ready, set, go. As you can see, the Galaxy S7 Edge, with that really quick animation, was able to go to the home screen much quicker than the iPhone 6s. So let's go ahead and run this fingerprint test one more time, but with a different method. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually press the button on both these devices, and then we're going to keep our finger resting on the fingerprint scanner and seeing which one would be faster to open up that way. So let's go ahead and try that out. Ready, set, go. So as you can see, the iPhone 6s was basically unlocking at the same time as the Galaxy S7 Edge. So as you can see, the fingerprint scanners are basically almost the same when unlocking. There's a faster animation on the Galaxy S7 Edge, but overall, they all get into the device as quick as each other. So that's a really good thing up, and let's go ahead and move on to the next test. So let's go ahead and test out the speed at which this, these phones can open up some apps. Let's go ahead into their multitasking windows and closing off all the open apps. So this one doesn't have any open. This one has Twitter open. Let's go ahead and head back to the app section, and that way we can start testing some of our apps. So let's go ahead and start with Twitter. So ready, set, go. Let's see, oh, Galaxy S7 Edge was able to open up Twitter quicker than the iPhone 6s. Let's keep on going and seeing what else happens. So next up is Instagram. Ready, set, go. They, uh, those are about the same time. They had to reload a little bit. The I, Galaxy S7 Edge showed the initial picture faster than the mm -hmm. iPhone 6s, mm -hmm. but the Galaxy S7 Edge and the iPhone 6s took, opened up the new pictures um, relatively the same um, speed, and they both opened up at the same time. So let's go ahead and keep going. 
now let's go ahead and open up the camera now for the camera I'm just gonna tilt my phones a little bit here so that way we can see a difference hopefully this stays focused for you guys so let me see if I can get them all into my hand at the same time and let me focus them for you alright so let's go ahead and test out how fast their cameras open so ready set go so the iPhone 6s opened up the camera faster than the Galaxy S7 Edge let's go ahead and put these back down and let's go back to our normal testing and let's go ahead and open up our next app which is the calculator so ready set go uh... seemed like a tie i'm not sure if the Galaxy S7 Edge opened up just a hair faster than the iPhone 6s but really nothing you could ever notice let's go ahead and try settings ready set go iPhone 6s opened it up slightly quicker than the Galaxy S7 Edge let's keep on going now let's try YouTube now we're gonna open up the YouTube app see which one opens up Galaxy 7 Edge opened it up and now the iPhone 6s has opened it up now let's go ahead and load a video let's try this one over here so ready set go this one the Galaxy S7 Edge opened up the video and started playing the video a little bit faster than the iPhone 6s but not that big of a deal let's go ahead and keep moving now I do believe the Galaxy S7 Edge as paused it, uh, we need to pause it that way it doesn't keep running in the background so let's keep on going the next one up is Temple Run 2 so ready set go as you can see the iPhone 6s has already started to load the screen up and now we're actually loading the game whereas the Galaxy S7 Edge is still on that loading screen and is now finally finished loading the game so as you can see for in terms of games the iPhone 6s does open up um, a little bit faster than the Galaxy S7 Edge. Let's keep on going to our last app, which is Dead Trigger 2. Now, this is pretty graphics heavy, so let's go ahead and load that up. So, ready, set, go. So, I did tap it on this one, and there we go. The iPhone 6S already loaded up. I was actually very quick on the iPhone 6S. And then now the Galaxy S7 Edge. Now, some of the reasons why you may be seeing um, the iPhone 6S outperforming the Galaxy S7 Edge. It's not necessarily because the iPhone 6S is much more powerful than the Galaxy S7 Edge. It's because its hardware was developed with its software and that means it's going to be very efficient in opening up apps and performing tasks compared to Samsung where Google makes the software and Samsung has to make the hardware and there's a slight disconnect in there and there's a slight disconnect in efficiency for opening up apps but is the difference that big it's not really that big so right now what we're going to do is I'm going to test out the RAM management for both these devices and seeing if these have to refresh apps or if there's any type of problems that occur or any type of refreshing that has to occur um, on the phone since it can not handle that much memory now before I begin uh, there's a four gigabytes of RAM on the Galaxy S7 Edge compared to two gigabytes of RAM so let's go ahead and start by Twitter there we go opened up at the same time now the Galaxy S7 line was known for like a really bad RAM uh, management issue where things had to constantly be refreshing so let's see if Samsung was able to fix that in this version of the Galaxy so let's go ahead and move on to Instagram essentially the same time let's keep on going to the next app which is the camera ready set go same time seemed about the same time maybe the Galaxy 7 Edge was just a little bit quicker than the iPhone 6s but really not that big of a deal let's keep on going to the next one which is the calculator ready set go same time moving on to the next one which is settings ready set go a little bit of a lag on there I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch that now but the iPhone 6s immediately pulled up settings and then the Galaxy S7 Edge stood there for like a second and then it moved on but not that big of a deal let's keep on moving next one up is YouTube now we're gonna see if the videos have to refresh on this one this is where it's crucial let's see if the videos have to refresh on either the iPhone 6s or the Galaxy S7 Edge so ready set go let's go up uh, there we go it was a slight refresh on the iPhone 6s but now it's uh, on the Galaxy S7 Edge not the iPhone 6s the iPhone 6s was ready out the box whereas the Galaxy S7 Edge had to reload just a little bit so that's a slight bummer but let's go ahead and keep on going next one up is Temple Run 2 let's see if the Galaxy S7 Edge has to refresh on this one as well 
Eh, no, it didn't. We're good to go. It's still playable. So let's keep on moving. Alright, next one up is that Trigger 2. And let's go ahead and open up this one as well. So ready, set, go. And both these are still in the same position. They're still playable. So there you have it. There is the speed test. So the RAM management seems to have been mostly improved on the Galaxy 7 Edge compared to the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. This is a really big improvement as in the Galaxy S6 Edge, just having a couple of apps open would have to cause every app to refresh, whether it was Instagram or Twitter. So really good improvement on Samsung. Now, the iPhone 6S turned out to be a little bit faster in some situations than the Galaxy S7 Edge, but just take into account that the Galaxy S7 Edge has more pixels to push, it has a bigger screen, whereas the iPhone 6S has a smaller resolution and has a smaller screen, as well as its optimized software with its hardware, whereas Samsung kind of has to just attempt to make their hardware compatible with the software as best and as efficient as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these phones and if you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go down below and subscribe to this channel and go ahead and hit that like button. Alright, now thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.